Every boat has a story, and one boat that I built, the Sturgeon Nose Canoe, has an interesting story, and it's a very unique looking boat. I had seen a Sturgeon Nose Canoe in some of my books, but there was not a lot of build information, and I only knew of one person, Harvey Golden, who had actually built one. In 2010, I got a call from a guy named Harry Wong. Harry's father was Chinese and his mother Sinite Indian, a tribe from the Pacific Northwest, and he wanted to commission me to build his tribe's canoe. So in March of 2011, I finally had time to start on it, and by trial, error, and collecting every scrap of information I could about the boat, I started building a frame. The construction of the frame was different than anything else I had done before, and I had to do it over a few times to get the shape right. Even so, I've often been tempted to build another one because I think I could do better. Unlike my kayaks, which only have several stringers, the sturgeon nose was almost planked. Originally, they were skinned with pine tree bark. Once canvas became available, they switched to that, so my nylon skin is not that far off for the traditionalists. At this point, it begins to look like a boat, albeit an upside-down boat. Once that was done, it was time to test this strange-looking fish out. So I wrapped it up in shrink wrap. Skin boat builders call this the saran wrap test. The five minutes or so that you have on the water is more than enough time to decide if the boat is worthy of putting a more expensive nylon skin on. Back in the shop, the task of figuring out how to skin this cat begins. My boat building hovers somewhere between traditional and experimental. As I told Harry upon delivery, my boats aren't museum pieces. They are living, working boats and should be used. Before delivery, the final thing that has to be built is the appropriate paddle for the boat. And with that, it's time to call Harry and go paddling. So here it is. We spent the afternoon taking turns paddling, after which Harry strapped the boat to his car and took it home. But that was just the beginning of this interesting story that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Harry took it around to various festivals and gatherings and continues to to this day. He has let people from his tribe paddle for the first time what is an icon of their culture. And due to Harry's enthusiasm, it has been on TV and in newspapers. There's a lot more to this story than I can tell here, but on my websites paddleandore.com and openwoodshop.com, you can find web pages I've made along with links to where the boat has been and more about the story of this rare fish the Sturgeon Nose Canoe.